Hi, welcome to Hijab Mood TV, your program for fashion news. Here we have the founder of Hilia Signoria, Nureini Ampatuan. Um, she is the founder of Hilia Signoria and it is based in the Philippines. It is actually based on this cultural significance of the islands of the Philippines and she chooses her fabric carefully and you could learn a lot about her. So thank you very much for coming to Hijab Mood TV. Thank you so much for inviting me. Hi everyone, Mabuhay Ugmadayao. My name is Noraini Ampatuan and I am the fashion designer and founder of Hilia Signorina. And she may be known as one of the first female in the headscarf to be featured in modest fashion in the Philippines. Let us get to know her. So shall we? Yes. <laughs> so if we take a look at of her Instagram on Helia Signoria, how did you come up with the idea of wanting to connect to modest fashion into a rich culture of the islands of the Philippines? Since you, you can see the patterns, it's really culturally significant. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Philippines has a lot of cultures and traditions. Like, for example, the Islamized groups are the Moros, and the Christianized groups are the indigenous people. And um, each of the ethno-linguistic group has their own pride, dignity, and identity. Even with their own traditional, with their own authentic traditional attires, you can really see the differences from the patterns, the symbols, and, you know, of course, the textiles. So knowing all of these tribes and communities, it makes me feel like I want to build the bridge between these cultures to fashion industry, especially the modest fashion, because I have a strong feeling that, you know, it has a passionate connection between your faith and your culture that, you know, you can truly express through fashion. So, so I think that really matters to me connecting my faith and my culture. Yes. And we really need these kind of fashion trends because culture is really significant. As I always say, that it actually connects people together and it makes, it makes your community um, belong to a certain group. And if you share your culture with the others, you will be able to understand one another and in terms of the language of fashion or the psychology of fashion, then like um, everyone can be a part of fashion if the culture is shown, just like Helia Signoria. So well done to that. Um, how does the Philippines define culture and how does it relate to your beautiful brand, Helia Signoria? Yeah, well, um, I think for the Muslim Filipinos and for IP tribes. Culture is about their identity. It's about their history. It's about their, you know, their, their authenticity, how original they are. So I think as a pure Maguindanawan fashion designer, I sense this huge responsibility that I have to do something greater than what we already have for us to preserve our culture. Like, for example, um, I like getting inspiration, inspirations from our symbols, from our patterns, from its meanings, and especially from the textiles because um, it's one of our goals, it's one of our, it's one of Helia Signorina's vision and mission that we have to do something that we can promote these textiles and showcase these textiles for us to be recognized as Filipinos so that, um, you know, we can showcase it and not just here in the Philippines, but also in the world. Yes, definitely. How did you start your brand? Um, I always say this because the process of starting a brand is really important. Um, I started to plan building my own brand when I graduated fashion design degree at Philippine Women's College of Davao. But aside from earning a degree, I think the first moment I realized I was ready to do it is when I was one of the Filipina influencer, influencers um, for Jakarta Modest Fashion Week. Mm. So that, by Beautiful. that time, yeah, by that time, I was 
um, you know, I was only 22 years old. And as a young artist, as a young designer, I feel like I have so much more to learn, even though I already graduated. I have so much more to discover, so much more to explore. And, you know, it, it, I think it's really important for us to inspire people and create beautiful artworks and promote and showcase what we already have. Yes, I agree with you. And right now, mm -hmm. we need to explore the sustain sustainability of fashion because I think there's a lot of um, fabrics to explore um, yeah, to actually minimize right. the deforestation and then the lack of water because fabrics, of mm -hmm. course, there's a lot of hydrogen in it and we need to actually re like make it reusable and mm -hmm. all of those sciences. And I believe that the fashion industry should actually collaborate with um scientific scientific um yeah um things and organizations and especially the world health organizations i mean we haven't heard the world health organization collaborate with one, one of the biggest fashion brands as well and i think helia signoria has a really a big potential for that because it's all about the Filipino culture and it, the rainforest too, the Filipino culture and the tropical rainforest and it needs a lot of yeah. saving. Um, yeah, well, yeah. it's there's this one thing that there's a lot of people asking me why you didn't use your name as your brand's name. Mm. So I think um, Hilia's, Hilia is, has a really sentimental value for me. It was suggested by my auntie from, she's from Malaysia way back 2018, it was given for me for my uh, 2018 graduation fashion show. And um, Kilia means it, it is an Arabic word which means ornament and uh, jewelry while signorina means a title or a form of human so i feel like it's somehow related to me as a person and as a fashion designer so that's why i didn't use my name i'd rather i prefer to use hilia signorina yeah so beautiful Ornaments and, it, and jewelry. i think it's it sounds pretty chic you know it's yes. hilia signorina that's why yes. Yeah, thank you so much. And it's really unique too. And yeah, thank you so everyone much. Everyone should know that you're the founder of Hilia Signoria because it's a beautiful name and you found that name. So, yourself. So, it's thank cool. you. <laughs> so, talking about like Hilia Signoria's Instagram page because I really love the pictures and I think that you can feel the cultural significance in it. Um, yeah. And mm -hmm. Does it incorporate the beauty of fashion, especially modest fashion, since um, there is modest fashion in it, um, and its relationship with the religion? And you've mentioned that you you want it to be connected to your faith. Can you please tell me more about that? Well, yes, it incorporates the beauty of fashion and modest fashion, but somehow I think Kilia Signorina isn't made for any specific spiritual belief or religion but I think the, as long as the modest fashion is there as long as the culture is there and the, sig the signature of me as a designer is there and that's the whole definition of Hilia Signorina because um, you know we as much as possible we'd like to showcase and promote the Moro and indigenous people textiles that is our main goal yeah great I am just trying to think all the things that you said yeah. because it's really um, something new to the fashion industry. And yeah, mm -hmm. it is. So talking about yeah. the definition of your brand, which is culture, the Filipino culture, mm -hmm. and breaking barriers for female artists and designers like you is very important. So, so is it very important to portray the justice of your brand? Yeah, I think that's very important to um, portray the justice of my brand because it's, you know, breaking barriers. It's the, pur the, purpose, the purpose of it is to, you know, create awareness and to preserve and to showcase 
And um, I think that's more like um, showing more of what you have as a designer and as the promoter of a specific culture. Yeah, yeah that is so true. I mean, you need to yeah. actually Because we promote. want, you know, we want to, we want the audience and the clients to feel that there is a significance of having and or like if you have the value using the traditional textiles because it's it's truly important that we are promoting and preserving what we have as a Filipino. Yep. Especially using the traditional textile and using it for yeah. the everyday wear and it's not just yeah. the traditional you wear. Can probably, yeah, you can probably wear it like incorporated with your ready to wear apparels or clothing. Mm -hmm. You can just, you know, incorporate it with your um, streetwear designs or streetwear clothing. And that, that would look nice. That yeah, would look definitely. nice. I'm sure your audience and clients love the pattern making of Helia Signoria. How mm -hmm. does it affect the, the brand image actually? Um, well, Helia Signorina, we have a lot of signature in pattern making. It's like when I create a design for a specific collection, I make sure that it has a story, it has something to do with the, the current situation, it has something to do with my inspiration as a designer. So I'm really careful because pattern making is really crucial to my brand. So as much as, much as possible, I'd like to put every detail and every signature on it and every collection. Yes. And it must be your type of signature and the one that you like um, and that it doesn't... Um, like it's not similar to others because the signature it has to be unique to yours right Nirini? um hello <laughs> okay there's a bit of a yeah connection. especially okay. if you have vision hello can you hear me yeah yeah uh there was a cut before all right Okay, so can we continue now? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, so it's like the Louis Vuitton, uh, Chanel, Dior. They already have their own signature. Like, if if you can, if 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 you have this impression to a brand, like for example the LV, they are known with their you know monogram pattern, right? It's like even though they don't have the label, if you ha if you can see the pattern then you can already assume that it's Louis Vuitton. So it's something like that. I want to build that image for my brand. Mm -hmm. that yeah, just like your the logo. People, yeah, that the people will, the one that would recognize your brand. Like you don't mm -hmm. have to tell everything, every specific word or every story, but it's the people who will recognize you. Yeah. I can imagine yeah. that your, your logo would be like, you know, Repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff, even like even yeah. Even if it's just you know HS, they will know that oh it's Hilia Signorina. Oh, so something beautiful. like that. Design. Oh my god, it touched my heart. <laughs> Some kind of <laughs> thank you. Some kind of uh, I like the idea of having that uh, you know kind of impression for a brand because it I think it's you know you you are in a phase of already succeeding when you have the impression of having that from for your brand mm. absolutely what is Hilia Signoria's um, definition of modesty well I think uh, Hilia Signorina's um, definition of modesty is about character it's about personal style it's not just about how you wear your accessories how you wear your clothes your shoes but it's about how you carry it, how you carry it with your, you know, how consistent you are with your style. Because some of us are like, um, just wearing anything they want, anything they like, any color they like. But I think it's more of a personal choice. It's more of how you express your, yourself through fashion. Because people will, people will have first impression on you if you wear, 
like if you wear a jacket or if you wear a baya, if you wear um, suit and pants, they will recognize you by wearing that. So I think it's very, uh, you know, important to be consistent and have your personal style in that, you know, character. Definitely, character is very much important. Like, uh, for example, if the person loves to be romantic, then yeah. romantic kind of thing. Like, there's some um, floral mm -hmm. patterns, and then there's like yeah. Um, a lot it goes of with the flow. Yeah. yeah, it's so it's so what it it's like what's on your mind. It's really important what's on your mind, what's on your heart, because it's you know fashion expresses it. Mm -hmm. How will your uh, beautiful design impact the way the people of the of the Philippines view on Islam, headscarf, and fashion? Because it's all connected. Yeah, you're you have a point on that, but I think my designs will have an impression that people will say that oh, there's there's designs for Muslim people that they can wear, not just a black abaya or not just a plain or white or yellow, um, you know, huge uh, clothing. But I want to, um, I want people to recognize the clothes that we can wear, that we can blend in globally by wearing um, different silhouettes, by wearing different patterns, by wearing like layering, raffles, and um, you know, women can wear suit and pants too. So yeah, that's definitely. the idea that I yeah. have. So that's the idea I want to, you know, show show to the world and show to the people that that's that's uh, one of our that's one of Helios' vision and mission. Yeah. Since um, like of course you'll have a lot of networks from Philippine Women's College where you actually. You earned a degree in art, fashion design at Davao. Um, what is your tips on benefiting mm -hmm. the process of becoming Helia Signoria or becoming a Helia Signoria woman or or men? You know. <laughs> oh, that's that's a really that's a really wonderful question. Actually, um, I think um, you know building yourself uh, or like building your own brand. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of process and learning, um, discovering. Like you have to, in the first place, you have to stay true to yourself. Like um, you're not supposed to pretend someone else or you're not supposed to mimic other people. You just have to stay confident and humble and, you know, being real with what, what's on your mind. What do you want to, um, what do you want people to know about you? Because in the end, it's like, it's, it's only you that, 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 you know, you can have for the rest of your life. And I think it's having, the, having a consistent style is the best way to, you know, become the Hilya Signorina, hmm. ideal so, Hilya Signorina. So what kind of uh, cons consistent style do, yeah. do the Consistency. people need, actually? Hmm. Because if you're consistent with yourself, then, you know, you can show what's real and what's, what makes you feel good and what makes you unique to other people and what makes you everything, every good thing in the world. Yeah, just being yourself. But like yeah. most of the audience, I think they don't know what themselves is, especially when they're in college. So, so how did mm -hmm. you find your sense of self? your um i think for your um the strategy the strategy the strategy that i have is like i've i've researched more and i've i've struggled more on looking for my purpose that's the real thing that i've, I've i really struggled for looking for my purpose and then when you have that purpose it's like this the direction and the path is, is straight even though there are times that you may fall or there are times that the difficult the situation is difficult at least you have the purpose and you have the goal and you have the passion to do what you love okay. so that's the that's the important that's the important thing yeah 
So that's how you become a Helia Signoria woman. Yeah. For the closing yeah. statement. A phenomenal Helia Signorina me. <laughs> a phenomenal one. And the one that's really confident about herself or himself. And um, that loves the clothes too. Mm -hmm. For the closing statement, please tell our viewers on what they would expect in your 2021 collection for Modest Fashion Manila. We're just coming up. Wow. June 2021. 2021. Wow, mm -hmm. that's great. I'm so excited to show you what we can offer, what, um, clothes, what clothing and collection we can create for you guys. We will be making ready-to-wear pieces, customized clothing, luxury wears, and we will be experimenting more fabrics and more colors. So... Watch out, guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to check out um, her Instagram page, Nuraini Ampatuan, and also her brand, most importantly, I mean, her creations, um, Helia Sikura. And stay tuned for Modest Fashion Manila's first ever modest fashion show in the Philippines. She graduated from um, Davao, which is one of the cities in the Philippines. And yeah, we are super excited for the breakthrough of culture in the Philippines, the breakthrough of um, fashion and culture and also the faith. So it's very empowering, Nereni, especially. Thank you. Thank well. you so much. Thank you. Please keep doing what you do because- Thank you, really you for having me. I really enjoyed having conversation with you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.